Yo, what's going on, Battlefielders? How you doing today? Oh, I'm fantabulous. It's my wife's birthday, and we're gonna go have some fun. We're going to the pumpkin patch. Hopefully, we can pick up an Eskimo or something. I don't know. I've never been to one. I don't know what they have there. But anyways, hopefully, it's a big one. So, anyways, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that I've been wanting to for a while. So it's not like a, a necessarily tweak thing. It's what would you change? Um, meaning it could be removed or anything like that. So this is kind of a an interaction sort of video, one where I want to get you guys thinking, um, conversating in the comment section, being civilized, and I guess contributing. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing today. So prepare yourself, get ready to type. And I'm going to give my version. You guys can be open to leave your comments and suggestions down below. Um, give me your own honest opinions about things in the beta. Understand this is a beta, therefore many of the things that we're experiencing and de dealing, with, dealing with right now it's probably already been tweaked to things that we disagree with or may not be happy with. Could have very well already been tweaked because this, this beta, this, this mode that we're playing right now, this version of the game is probably a good few weeks, if not a few months old. So they've tweaked many of the problems and bugs already. So let's just jump right into it real quick. One of my main concerns with the thing, what I would change, is I would probably ultimately remove on map weapons like the M82 you know I, I don't think the 50 cal should be in this game I mean I understand what it is I know what it stands for but something like on map weapons is something that you deal with on games like Halo or Unreal Tournament where everybody spawns with, with below average or average weapons and they really don't have a variety or different amounts of weapons to go with and that's something that I'm accustomed to from those type arena fast-paced shooters Battlefield's not one of those and as odd as it seems, those are usually common in close quarters sort of uh, titles. I find that if any game mode I'm okay with them in, it is probably Conquest. Um, I find it's way too small to have these guns and these weapons, these vulnerable weapons. Um, I know there's a good countdown on them, and the weapons themselves are just nasty. They are, in fact, power pickup weapons. The USAS, dangerous. M32 grenade launcher, dangerous. The M frickin' 50 cal, it kills things. It, these things are just like one shot kill guaranteed, no sweat, no effort required, and I don't think they deserve to be in the game, um, especially in the close quarters, domination or rush or anything like that can really tip the side and balance of the game, I'm not too big a fan of it. So that's where I feel with those, another thing that I'm kind of concerned about is battle packs. I don't think they should be mandatory. I think they should be optional. I liked when people, if they wanted to, would have the possibility and option to play that way or buy packs to unlock special camos or EXP bonuses or something like that. I understand that, but if I'm really wanting an attachment on my gun, I want to earn it. I'll get the 300 kills I need to. I don't want 10 kills for this scope, 10 kills for that. There's no grinding. The grind is no longer real, and it's kind of taking away from the, the long-term playability of their game. I think when you just make it a toss-up, um, it kind of takes away from the fun, you know? It's just, just my feeling on it. I find that I, I didn't get even close to any of the attachments that I wanted from those uh, during the beta. And I opened, what, three or four of them? And I was thoroughly disappointed in the battle pack system. Uh, so I think they should either remove them or make them um, optional. People can choose to do them, but not enforce it on the entire people and population playing their game. Uh, the perk system. Another thing that I think needs tweaked back to how it was in Battlefield 3 or removed entirely. I don't think it really needs to be in a game. I don't like the defensive perks and the attacking perks. I don't think any of that is necessary for a game like this. Um, if you got the game balance, which they are capable of, you don't really need stuff like that. Uh, defensive perks, for example, just thwart any sort of, you know, sniper shot sometimes. So things get a little complicated with those. I'm not the biggest fans of them, but it's something I can grow with. It's not game breaking and it doesn't bother me near as much as the other two. Uh, another big one, which is something they should have gotten rid of a long time ago. I've been like extremely persistent about this. And it is spawn protection. In a video game where you choose and elect to spawn on a person, you are therefore taking the risk to spawn in open combat. If you die when spawning on somebody, you deserve to die. That's one of the risks. If you want to be safe or safer, spawn on an objective. Spawn at the home base. Take a vehicle. You know, part of the risk in combat is doing that. I know it's not a realistic thing, but I'm saying if you're willing to try to teleport right into the middle of the battle, you deserve to be able to take bullets from the middle of the battle, just like everybody else. Um, so that's where I stand with that. I'm not a big fan of spawn protection like in Battlefield 3, and I, I'm pretty positive it's still in Battlefield 4. Um, I've seen it a few times. Um, it could just be shitty hit detection, you never know. But I think it's still existing. Um, 
And it's even more of an annoyance now because you have uh, the incredible new system that they brought in for the spawning where you can locate on the map and spawn in. And even more importantly is you can see the vision on a little camera now. So if, if, if spawn protection is really in the game but you have a camera to, to know exactly what your friendly is looking at, that's just double retarded right there. I mean, if you spawn on a, if you see a guy in a gunfight, don't spawn on him. Find somebody else or wait to see if he wins the gunfight. You know, what's the camera there for if you have spawn protection? You know what I mean? It's just kind of stupid. I don't, I don't know why those two coexist. Um, but that's just how I feel about that. Um, at the end of the day, uh, the only other little tweak that I guess I can, uh, I, I guess I can kind of get behind is the XM25. The XM25, I think, is a great piece of equipment. I don't think it kills people too quickly. I think it's good for getting people off the roofs. I think it's good for uh, a few different purposes. It's not too dangerous to armor or anything like that. But it needs tweaked on the destruction. Not like the player kill ability or time to kill, but like the destruction. The XM25 on those steel shutters that you can put down blows through that and glass in one shot. I'm talking steel protective shutters that bullets can't penetrate. <laughs> Lord prevent the chance of an XM25 explosive round to breach drywall. Some sheetrock. It's a little bit of a wall. It takes four shots to blow through a wall, and I'm like, are you serious right now, Dice? Four shots from an explosive weapon to bust through a little wall, but steel shutters, the bulletproof shutters, no big deal, one shot. So I just think they could tweak a little bit, uh, a little bit more things. I mean, I would understand if you had five of them, you can just destroy five walls, but make it two shots or something. Four shots, my god, I waste the entire mag on my XM25. So that's just one of the couple little things I'd like tweaked. And last, but definitely not least, I think that counter knifing needs to be removed entirely. I think the idea and concept was something a stoner came up with while he was falling downstairs in a tornado. Like, it was the most retarded idea I've ever thought of. It was just there for Flash, and it was a horrible idea, in my opinion. Um, I understand that you do not want the knifing. I think the knifing system in Battlefield 3 was just fine. If I shoot a guy a little bit, he's down to 20 health, and I just swipe at him, that's okay. Should I one-shot kill, fast kill, like in Call of Duty? No. Should I be able to grapple him and wrestle him to the ground? No. It should be back to how it was in Battlefield 3, because I can no longer melee, and melee has always been an essential part of every FPS in the game. And it's basically removed unless you get behind a guy. So... At that point, I think I eliminated a very, very important part of their game, and I'm not happy with it because the counter knife is almost always a guaranteed fail. I think I've completed three out of, like, 200. So that's where I stand. Hopefully you guys can leave your opinions down below. Let me know what you guys think. I am looking forward to seeing your opinions and what you would tweak and add, remove, anything like that. So have a great, wonderful day. I will stay moist.